Ladies and gentlemen, today I bring you the latest C8 news with dealers being able to now configure a 2022 C8 Corvette in GM system. and welcome back to Brink of Speed. I am so happy that you pressed that play button today. Thank you for joining me. If you are brand new to the channel, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button and you will join the thumbs up squad. Also, if you're new to the channel, we'd love to have you join the Brink of Speed community by smashing that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Help me reach my goal of 50,000 subscribers and family members by the end of this year. So there are three topics that I wanna discuss with you guys today and they all revolve around C8 news. Number one, GM's latest on why 2021 C8 allocations were cut short. Number two, dealers being able to configure your 2022 C8 in GM system already. And number three, the latest 2022 ordering timelines. So let's jump into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as you see, I'm on CorvetteBlogger.com, which is one of my favorite websites to come to. And here we have the topic of Corvette Chief Engineer Tad Schuchter on why GM cut the final 2021 allocation. And he is the chief engineer. And so I figured I would give you guys what he stated. And we're gonna scroll down here and zoom in on this section right here. And it says here, we learned our lesson last year. We didn't predict a pandemic and we actually promised to build cars and then the pandemic shut us down entirely. We had to go back to customers and dealers and say, I'm sorry. It was 11,000 customers that we had to go back and say, okay, we'll put you at the front of the line for 2021. This year, even though things are constrained, we haven't had to do that. Every car we've committed to build, we expect to build. However, there's still ups and downs and we're fighting through it. But that's why we don't want to overcommit. But of all the cars we received and committed to build, we're still on track to build them. So a couple things, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I didn't realize that they had gone back to 11,000 customers and said that they would put them at the front of the line. I thought that was really up to the dealerships to do so and a lot of dealerships had dropped the ball on doing that and that's why we had a lot of customers who had orders for 2020s who didn't even get 2021s and so I'm not sure what he's talking about there maybe you can let me know in the comments down below what you think he's saying there but I think it's pretty cut and dry I just don't think they did that I think that was up to the dealerships. Second thing is he clearly states that they didn't want to overcommit, which means they didn't want to overpromise and then under deliver, which is what I stated in one of my latest videos. So that's good. And I believed that to be fact before he even said it. I think the GM needs to definitely take the under promise and over deliver side of things and they will do much better. So if you want to read this article, I will leave it down in the description below and I'll do that with every single thing that we cover here today. I'm going to move along though to my favorite topic of all and that is that the 2022 configuration at dealerships is up and running. There's only one problem though and that is that there are no pricing yet. For these configurations yes your chevy dealership can go ahead and configure your new c8 but they probably won't because they don't have pricing for it if you have a really cool uh salesman that's willing to get on there and just show you all of this stuff as you can see it says 2022 right here it shows exactly what you're configuring uh, this is a Corvette Stingray Coupe, and they went with a 3L packet, uh, 3LT package. And then if we scroll through all of this, you're going to notice that these are all the new configurations. Now, the cool thing is, is that there are some new codes on here, and they were very clearly pointed out by a few people on the Mid-Engine Corvette Forum. And if you go over to the Mid-Engine Corvette Forum and you click on this, 
you can read down here that there are some new options. Now I spotted a few of these, but it's much easier to see if you just go over here. Again, I'll leave this link in the description below, but they talk about the D58 rear spoiler delete and the ZF1 Aero and Z51 package spoiler delete. So anyway, if you scroll through here, you will definitely see some new options that are available on the new configuration for the 2022. So it's worth taking a look at. And the good news is, is on this Corvette Action Center, they put together a coupe and a convertible. So you can look at both. So if you scroll all the way through, you'll see here is a convertible with a 3LT package. So very cool stuff. But moving on to number three, I wanted to go ahead and address the ordering status for 2022s. And the Mid Engine Corvette Forum never disappoints. They actually have a timeline down here. Now these are not exact and they say that, that these you know, could be completely different than what they're putting out here but this is their best guess. So June 28th, dealers received the actual order guide details, some of the tiny parameters that this option must be ordered with that one, or the reverse that one cannot order the new special editions with any but this spoiler, etc. July 1st, dealers are informed of their exact July allocation level, and probably also their number of August and September allocations. So that would be cool if on July 1st, your dealership got their July, August, and September allocation for the 2022 c 8 Also on July 1st through July 14th, they state that dealers who have, for example, 15 allocations for July's SORP, which is start of retail production, will finalize each order with those 15 customers. So that's gonna be cool. It sounds like you're gonna be able to go to your dealership at least July 1st through the 14th and go ahead and submit those orders and finalize those orders with your dealer. Now, July 15th, this is when the matching of A, GM granted allocation goes in and B, dealer ed special prioritized orders for the amount of allocations and C, each of the 15 order exact specifications and colors. And he puts down in the notes that the DOSP date is not yet set by GM, might be July 8th or thereabouts. And the build your own C8 process will not be available until early September. So these are the latest C8 updates that I wanted to go over with you very briefly. Again, this article will be down in the description below so that you guys can link to all three of these and read these things for yourselves and the comments that follow. But I hope that gives you some updates that you were looking for on the C8 as far as C8 news goes. There is more stuff to come that I'll be going over with you here soon. And we'll be talking about the Z06 soon enough as well, because we may have a delay on the Z06. So I want to get into that, but not on this video. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give me a big thumbs up. Also, again, if you'd like to join the wonderful Brink of Speed community, please take the time to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Leave me comments down below. Also, follow me on all my social media platforms. They're all at Brink of Speed. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you out on the road.